upskirting. Have you heard of the term upskirting? Upskirting pornography? Upskirting. That's a word that's only been created since digital cameras, mobile phone cameras, computers have come into effect. You couldn't really have upskirting back when you had to take your camera into your local chemist, pharmacist, and then he would develop your photos and hang on. So upskirting is a term that's new, but it's certainly not a new thing because there's no doubt men have wanted to look up women's skirts for a long, long time, long, long time. But it's only with the advent of mobile phones that Blanca can take photos up women's skirts. Can you imagine back in the day when you had that hood over your head and the flash and everyone had to stand perfectly still and not even smile you couldn't really take an upskirt photo then, could you? Somebody's great long dress with their bustle. So there's a report. It was done in London. It was done in London by 150, 1900, late 1800s. And what it was, it was a scientific study that was done by some museum college in London. And basically what it was, was they set up a little hidey hole, a hide actually, and it was under a set of stairs in London. And what it was, was to just record, can you believe this? In the Victorian era, how many women didn't wear any underwear? Now we're talking those long dresses, possibly hoops, you know, so that's how long ago it was. And you've got to, blokes have always wanted to look up women's skirts. I mean, it's a titillation thing, it's a, it's a thing. But anyway, as I say, it's not till these cameras came in that the term upskirting came in to effect, existed. Why am I telling you all about this when my videos are all about cowboys? Because of once upon a time in the West. Yes, there was going to be upskirting in once upon a time in the West. So what happened is Sergio Leone had made his three classic dollar westerns and if you've ever watched them who hasn't if you're watching this and you haven't watched them come on anyway you'll know that those movies didn't really have any women in them in the first one there was a a woman who was stolen by the bad guy from her husband and child because of a debt and um but there's never really been major roles for women in those three dollar movies. So Sergio Leone, you know, I've told you in a previous video, wanted to kill off his three big stars right at the beginning. But also, he wanted to have a woman play a much more important, pivotal role in the movie. And he already fancied an actress for this job. And that was 30-year-old Claudia Cardinale. Now she, hard to believe isn't it, in 1968 she was 30, she was born in 1938 and she is 86 years old at the moment. It all gets a bit scary doesn't it when it's a classic movie and then you find out someone that was in it is... So, he wanted her to have this pivotal role in Once Upon a Time in the West because he wanted to change a lot of things about that movie. And his plan was that once upon a time in the West was going to start, and he was going to kill off his three big stars. We talked about that before. Then, once that was done, the train that came hollering into town would pull up, and the camera would be down really low. And as the, ca as the train pulled in, the camera would pan along, right down at track level, and, and the passengers would start getting off. And you'd you'd see the passengers starting to climb down off the train and as it got closer to the steps then you would see this very attractive well dressed for the era woman coming down and the camera would keep getting closer and then as she actually stepped off that last step the camera would actually go up under her skirt and show that she wasn't wearing any underwear could you believe that? that's a true story and you can go on YouTube, you can see Claudia Cardinale describing when she sat down with Sergio Leone and he told her that that's how the movie was going to start for her, her introduction into the movie. And basically she uh, said words to the effect, I think it was, don't be ridiculous and that's not happening. 
So if you've seen the movie, who hasn't seen Once Upon a Time in the West, you'll know that that's pretty much what happens, and she steps down from the train, but then there's a big camera panning scene of her walking and going through the station, and then the camera goes up, and there's the town, and that whole thing is so huge, that is another video. So come back for the video about Claudia walking through the station and out into the town. Cheers, till next time.